let us understand edi that is electronic data interchange in this session we are going to understand benefits of edi and limitations of edi and what are all the applications of edi so these are the things that we are going to understand in this session first of all let us understand what does it mean edi edi is nothing but exchange of business documents <clears throat> generally a business organization consists of different types of business documents like purchase order invoices inventory documents shipping details payment details customs clearance details in this way a business organization may be having different types of documents all such documents are exchanged either within the organization or with external agencies as part of which two models are available in order to exchange business documents one is a traditional method of exchanging business documents and another is the latest one modern one that is electronic data interchange in this context let us understand what is an edi and then let us proceed for benefits limitations and applications of edi so edi is nothing but exchange of business documents in standard electronic format between various business partners such exchange of information happens automatically without any human intervention that to without any papers so that is what is known as an edi now let us see what are all the advantages or what are all the benefits of edi system the first and foremost advantage of edi system is elimination of a paper documents the edi system eliminates the paper documents for purchase orders or invoices for that matter any business document so edi system absolutely eliminates the use of paper documents and the second advantage is lowers the cost edi system reduces the cost because the edi system eliminates paper based processing the paper cost the printing cost the document storage cost the postage cost all these things are eliminated because all these things are eliminated all these things result in saving the money if we recollect the way the edi system works in case of traditional processing the purchaser that is the buyer has to send the document that is purchase order to the seller using post office courier or fax whereas in case of edi the moment the buyer makes any purchase the information reaches the seller almost instantaneously automatically without any paper same is the case even with invoice also whenever the seller generates the invoice in case of traditional system it is to be sent to the buyer by post office by courier by fax or by hand whereas the same is eliminated in case of edi system so in this way the edi system eliminates the use of paper because of which the cost uh, that is involved gets reduced and the third advantage is easy data exchange the data is prepared and the data is stored in electronic format because of which it can be exchanged very easily so that is the advantage one advantage of edi system and the next advantage is improved customer service the edi provides 
simple way to generate invoices or purchase orders so customers or sellers can generate uh, purchase orders or invoices very easily using the edi and the next advantage is automation whenever a customer purchases a product the purchase order is produced and sent to the seller automatically and instantly same is the case even with the invoices also whenever the uh, seller generates the invoice it also sent to the customer almost instantaneously automatically without any human intervention in this way the edi eliminates the traditional method of uh, preparing purchase orders printing them posting them courier fax so all these uh, traditional methods are eliminated by uh, edi so edi is totally automated method of uh, sending business documents next advantage is higher efficiency all the business partners make use of the edi software with which the standard and structured edi data will be there with all the business partners thus edi provides very clear communication and absolutely there is no confusion among any business partner next advantage is time saving large volumes of data get exchanged among all the business partners because more and more transactions means more and more that is large volumes of data will be there even though there is large volumes of there are large volumes of data the entire data gets exchanged among all the business partners in fraction of seconds and next advantage is improved accuracy as there is no human intervention in exchanging the data accuracy gets improved and there is no chance of any uh, errors so human errors and the next one is faster communication the edi data gets exchanged on 24 by 7 basis for all 365 days no question of holidays no question of sundays in this way around the clock for all 365 days the data gets exchanged next one is enhanced security the greater data security for data is provided by the edi system so edi system nowadays adopts the use of encryption methodology similarly uh, the business organizations are making use of value added networks for security methods so because of data encryption methods and because of value added networks uh, the data is uh, exchanged very uh, securely and the last advantage is improved decision making the data is in electronic format since the data is in electronic format the business organizations and all the business partners can assess and analyze the data whereby they can make data driven decisions for improvement now let us understand the limitations of edi system the edi system is also having several limitations let us understand all, all of them one by one the first and foremost limitation of edi is different standards different edi standards are available like ansi edi standard edi fact standard in this way different edi standards are available 
based on which different vendors uh, prepare and sell EDI softwares. So different standards are there and different EDI softwares are available. Hence, all the business organizations should decide uh, which EDI standard is to be adopted and similarly which EDI software is to be purchased. Then only the data gets exchanged properly among all the business partners. Second drawback or limitation of EDI is changing standards. Very regularly the EDI standards get updated and similarly even EDI software, software vendors also update their software and they even release a new versions very very frequently. Hence all the business partners should also upgrade and update to uh, latest standards and new versions of EDI software. Next one it is expensive that is the next limitation of EDI. The initial cost of EDI setup is really very high and hence generally the medium and the small business organizations may not show interest in the adoption of EDI. In such cases the small and medium business organizations may hire third party EDI applications. And fourth one, it is security. Sending the data over the internet is not advisable because the hacker's problem is there, a sniffer's problem is there, all of them may steal the data and it may be a, a great loss to the business organizations. To overcome these problems, business organizations uh, that is uh, the EDI softwares are created uh, with the encryption technologies so that uh, the data gets exchanged without any problem. And similarly, nowadays business organizations even go for uh, private value added networks uh, which provide better security for data. And the last limitation of EDI is backup. Uh, because the data is in electronic format and such data may be lost due to unforeseen or unexpected issues. To avoid such problems, the periodical data backup is needed. So these are all the limitations of EDI. Now, let us say EDI applications. In e-commerce, the EDI can be adopted in different areas. Let us look at some of them one by one. The first and foremost applications of EDI is industry and e-commerce. The EDI is useful in different types of transactions like purchases, sales, etc. So the purchase orders, invoices, payment details, shipping details, customs clearance details. So these are all the details that are to be exchanged among different business partners. Maybe government agencies, maybe with customers, maybe with the sellers, maybe with the suppliers. Uh, or uh, uh, logistic service providers. So EDI is really uh, useful uh, in uh, case of industry and e-commerce because all the business documents can be exchanged uh, very uh, easily using EDI. Second application of EDI is financial services banking transactions, insurance transactions and financial transactions. For that matter, all the online transactions, money transfers, bills payable, bills receivable. In all these cases, the data is to be exchanged among different agencies like insurance companies or banks 
or with the banking or non-banking financial institutions okay so in all these areas uh, different types of informations are to be exchanged and it can be done very easily through edi and the next one is uh, next application of edi is the transport and customs the transporters move the items from one location to another location within the country and sometimes uh, even the transporters uh, may move the articles or items from one country to another country also that is international shipments in all these cases uh, different types of documents are to be exchanged and if it is uh, international shipment uh, even customs clearance is to be obtained hence the sellers brokers transporters customs department banks insurance agencies among all these organizations the business documents can be exchanged very easily using edi similarly the location of the item that is shipping details purchase orders invoices payments all these things can also be exchanged very easily using the edi next application of edi is retail industry large retailers may have shops or businesses at different locations then the stock details that is inventory supply chain management monitoring etc can be done very easily using edi because of which the required stock can be maintained at, at each and every shop location so that the business may continue without any problem next application of edi is automobile sector during purchase cycle the people that is uh, who planned to purchase a vehicle can be updated with the latest product descriptions and any price updates etc similarly the uh, vehicle delivery dates can also be intimated to the customers and the next application is the manufacturing sector the manufacturing or production plants need different types of raw materials hence using the edi the raw materials can be procured from different vendors who may be having offices or who may be having plants at different locations thus the required stock can be procured in time without any delay thus the inventory is monitored constantly and the suppliers can be notified about the shortage of materials because of which the required stock can be maintained so that the production continues without any problem and the last sector uh, that gets that is where the edi can be used is a healthcare sector a great amount of paperwork is needed for lab reports bills doctor prescriptions in this way to overcome this paperwork the edi can be used for seamless data transfer because the doctor doctors give the prescriptions on paper so similarly whenever we go to medical stores and they give the bills so all these thing these are all the areas where paperwork is involved such kind of paperwork can be eliminated in case of health care sector using the edi so these are all the applications of edi